Today we're going to be looking at Netstat. This was requested by a viewer and I don't use Netstat a whole lot but I know how to do some simple stuff in it. Basically Netstat lets you see what's going on with your network card. What connections are made, what connections are trying to be made, and uh, what uh, connections are listening on your network card. So we'll start off, you can just type out Netstat and it gives you a bunch of information here on what's going on. We can clean this up some by using some switches. So let's do netstat again, and this time just do dash dash TCP. This will show us just TCP traffic. And there you go, you can see that this is our machine. This is the port the connection's being made on. You can see whether it's established or not over here. And you can see right here, uh, this will be what you're connecting to, the, the server that you're connecting to. And sometimes we'll give you the uh, website and sometimes it will give you more of just a direct server name here. Um, right here it says www, that's telling you that it's a website connection. Basically these are sites I'm connected to uh, through my uh, Firefox. Now uh, another thing you can do is sometimes if you have a lot of connections going it, it takes a few seconds, not very long to do what we just did, but you can speed it up if you, want, if you would like by using uh, the numeric switch. So we just do, once again, we'll do a search on TCP connections and we'll do numeric. And what that does is instead of going and finding the host name, it'll just give you the straight IP address and the ports you're connecting on here. Once again, 80 will be websites you're connecting to. And then this is my IP address and once again, the port that the connection is established on on my machine. Now uh, we can do a, another switch we can do uh, the listening switch, which basically shows you what uh, is being listened to, what ports are listening on our machine. Now this is a fresh install, I just finished this install a few minutes ago, so there's not much running on my machine. Uh, you can see a few things, NetBIOS here and IPP here. And, but uh, if I had uh, my SSH server up and running, which I'll set up here in a minute, and um, like Apache, you'll see those uh, listening here locally. Um, another thing you can uh, switch you can use is the program switch. So once again, we'll do TCP connections, and I'll do uh, program switch. And what this is going to do is uh, basically display. This should all be on one line, but just because I'm using a larger font for the video here, uh, it's going down to the next line. But basically, this TCP connection here, uh, which is connected here, once again, these are our web connections that I have going on. It's telling us here at the end of the line uh, what program is making those connections and what its uh, process ID is. So basically, as I said earlier, these are websites I'm connected to through Firefox. And currently on my machine, Firefox, its process ID is uh, 23,824. So if you see something going on on your machine that you don't want uh, to be listening or something that's trying to connect or is connected and you want to disconnect it, you can kill the program using the kill command, grab that process ID and just hit enter there and it will kill, in this case, Firefox. I don't want to kill Firefox, so I'm not going to do that. And for those who you don't know what kill means, it just basically means close that program. You know, basically no questions asked, just close it. Um, Another netstat command or switch is the uh, route command, which is uh, in this case similar to just using the route command from the command line. But it's basically going to show me how I'm routing out to the net, uh, internet. Right here is my main gateway uh, out to the internet, which is my main router connected to my modem here. And for most people, you'll have something that looks similar to, the, to this. Um, depending on how your network's set up. If you have more complicated networks set up or you've done stuff with IP tables, this may look more complicated than this, than that. Um, and last thing I'd like to show you is just an overall statistics using the statistics uh, switch here, which gives you, as I said, overall just statistics that you can look through, total packets received on IP and uh, TCP, you can get you know active connections and stuff like that. So that's just something you can look through.
and basically, like I said, NetStat just gives you an, a quick overview on uh, what connections are being made and are open on your machine. So uh, it's good for just security, seeing what's going on, in case you, if you're suspecting something's, uh, you know, going on that you don't want to be have going on. Once again, this is NetStat uh, in Linux here. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same on the Mac. Windows has NetStat. Uh, it's a little different though. Uh, it does basically the same stuff, but some of the switches may be different. I've never really, haven't used it in years. So uh, you can try these commands on a Windows machine. Some of them may work, some of them may not, uh, but go ahead and have fun or just get yourself some Linux. Uh, visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this or filmsbychris.com for more information on open source media. Have a great day.